Tayong mga car enthusiasts love driving, hindi ba? And so, once in a while, we get to drive some of the most exciting sports sedans and sports cars out there. But, this is a Kia. And it's called the Stinger GT. And it's also a rival to the BMW 3 Series, the Mercedes-Benz C-Class, Lexus IS, and even the Audi A4. All of its rivals wear a premium badge. And unfortunately, this car's Kia badge, which normally stands for affordability and value for money, doesn't usually live up to the prestige and pride that you experience with owning a Lexus or a BMW. And that's a shame, because the Kia Stinger GT is an excellent premium sports sedan. And for a lot less money compared to a BMW M340i or a Lexus IS350F Sport. This Kia Stinger GT gets a 3.3 liter twin turbo V6 gasoline engine, and it's a really good engine to begin with. This high performance engine produces these numbers, and it's all sent to the rear wheels with a limited slip differential, which is a must have feature in any high performance vehicle. So, how is the Kia Stinger GT like to drive on a daily basis, or actually, even from an enth enthusiast's perspective? In two words, I no three words. I actually I love it. <laughs> I love how the Kia Stinger GT drives. It's a perfect blend of long distance touring comfort and athleticism. So <laughs> I'm really having fun with this car. Let's overtake this tricycle. This thing is freaking quick. <laughs> So, 0 to 100 in this car happens in 4.7 seconds or 4.6 seconds if I'm not mistaken based on the manufacturer's claim and I think it's a measurement that's spot on no? the torque is delivered in a linear fashion torque happens at a wide RPM range so it's not your typical turbocharged engine na lahat ng torque nasa, bang, nasa low RPM range lang this has a wide torque band so for the most part, it feels like a naturally aspirated engine, but with a tiny bit of turbo lag in comfort mode, but put it in sport mode and that turbo lag disappears. Which makes this really a nice car to hoon at the track. Power delivery is smooth, linear, and it's really easy to moderate the throttle both in track and in daily driving situations. Ano? And first, the sound. So, I'm nyo kanina na um overtake ako. It sounds good, good, in a sense that there's a throaty V6 noise sa loob ng cabin. Pero sa taong lang, that V6 noise, most of that noise is actually synthetic noise. Hindi siya natural engine noise na talagang it's coming from the engine. Most of that actually is synthesized noise that comes from the speakers. Hindi siya natural noise yun nga, no? So, meh, sayang. And... To be honest, when you turn off the act, the active sound engine, whatever synthesized noise thing, I find the engine to be too quiet for my taste, especially for something that's with this much performance, no? As for the steering, it feels precise and accurate. It really is feel, it really is responsive. It it is light kabag comfort mode, kasi yung this is a this is selectable drive mode. So kabag comfort mode, ang light ng steering like as in every other Kia lang na ang super light niya. So to someone coming from a Kia Stonic or a Kia Rio. This is not bago dito in comfort mode. Now in sport mode, the steering becomes more sensitive and mas nagwa-weight up siya. 
which makes it really a fun to drive sports dan. If it only weren't for, I guess, I want more feedback. I want more feedback from the from the electric power steering. So para mas malamig feedback. Because to be honest, even in sport mode, medyo di naman numb pero there's really not a lot of feedback, ano? But apart from that, the steering is precise. The steering feels really reactive, really sporty. If it only had a bit more feedback, me feedback naman siya pero not as much as I would like in a car like this. But basically, the point nito is it's able to balance between long distance touring comfort and track capable kind of sportiness. And then and that reflect then and that's basically reflected in the ride, no? So. So the ride's firm, but not too firm to a point na ang tagtag niya. It's saktong firm lang. It's basically firm enough na it keeps the car from rolling. And basically from the squat down position naman talaga, the car really has great agility, no? Hindi siya yung pa roly poly It really is an agile and sporty car. And combined with the really supportive seats, the seats are lovely. There's plenty of adjustment, not just for the recline, the lumbar, pero pati rin sa thigh, sa thigh extensions. There's a lot of support para do sa thigh so kung gusto mong talagang taller drivers like me will appreciate love this car kasi nga because of the seats talagang there's a lot of adjustment for the thighs so as for refinement wind noise is minimum konti lang wind noise niya pero kung hindi sa road noise yun ang medyo pronounced I find road noise to be pronounced but personally okay lang siya sa akin kasi since this is also a performance car gusto ko yung ramdam ko yung speed gusto ko medyo ramdam ang speed hindi man siya yung parang let's say Subaru BRZ Toyota 86 na talagang halos walang sound insulation not that level pero in a sports dan kasi what you want kasi is to feel then the speed the sensation of driving ano so dahil dun hindi ka masyado isolated sa kalsada so if you're on track you can still appreciate the elements around you ramdam mo pa rin na you're really going up to speed na hindi kayong masyadong isolated sa ex driving experience but first basically it, that's that it provides a balance between long distance touring comfort and sportness while you're on track and the 8 speed automatic in this car is really good it's almost as good as what you would find in the BMW V because it uses the ZF manufactured by ZF na 8 speed automatic it's almost that good I like the transmission it feels not just responsive to your inputs but also yung the fact na ang smooth niya the, the, the gear changes are smooth the gear changes are also fast but this is an in-house transmission by Hyundai Kia by the Hyundai Motor Group it's a fine 8-speed transmission 8-speed automatic it's really good and then with that 8-speed automatic transmission this enables this 3.3 liter twin turbo V6 to have a decent amount of fuel economy actually a fuel economy is 8.4 kilometers per liter which you would be surprised in a car like this with this much performance and considerably considering na okay siguro 20 80% 80% I was driving this like my normal car how I would drive my normal car and 20% medyo hinuhun ko siya but even then at 8.4 kilometers per liter with this amount of performance that's really good that's a really good fuel economy figure. Lastly, the Kia Stinger's brakes are also commendable. This uses Brembo brakes all around, and they're really resistant to brake fade kahit i-hammer mo sila through winding roads. But more importantly, maganda yung kanyang stopping power, which is very important for a sports sedan. The best part about the Kia Stinger GT is its level of practicality. Yes, it's a high-performance sports sedan, Pero kaya niyang i-accommodate ikaw and probably your family or your friends. And they'll appreciate the lovely interior of this car. You don't normally associate luxury with the Kia brand, pero this interior is legitimately luxurious. Thanks to the generous amount of soft touch plastics and the few metallic details. They'll also appreciate the Harman Kardon sound system which really sounds good. Kia also makes one of my favorite infotainment systems in the industry. Touch response is very snappy as in like smartphone snappy, plus the menus are logically laid out. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are also standard. Moving towards the back seats, and headroom is slightly compromised, no thanks to that sloping roofline. I do have enough room for my 5 foot 10 height, but adults taller than me will start hitting their heads. On the upside, maluwag ang kanyang legroom dahil sa kanyang long wheelbase. Oh, and because this is a fastback, carrying cargo is one of its strengths. 
almost the entire rear section opens up to reveal a 306 liter cargo area. The trunk area is made more practical and spacious once you fold down the rear seats. And since wala ka partition unlike in a sedan, folding down the rear seats gives you more than 1100 liters, which is almost as big as what you would get in an SUV. Your friends and family will also appreciate this car's exterior design. It looks good in every angle, especially with that long hood, striking front end, its 19-inch alley wheels, and that seductively designed sloping roofline. There's really nothing quite like it at its price point in terms of the looks. And then as for advanced safety features, the Kia Stinger GTS blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert, and swiveling LED headlights. And that's basically the thing with the Kia Stinger GT. It's a very impressive premium sports sedan that's very hard to criticize. You're basically getting BMW M340i levels of performance for a lot less money. And kung sobrang ganda naman pala ng Kia Stinger GT, bakit onti lang yung nakikita natin sa kalsada? Tingin ko meron na akong kasagutan dyan. And unfortunately, this probably has something to do with the fact that it's a Kia. Because once you're at a certain price point, there are a number of buyers out there who are really badge conscious. For roughly the same amount as a Kia Stinger GT, you can buy an entry-level BMW 318i or even an entry-level Lexus IS Hybrid. More importantly, they're from premium brands. And at this price point, badge snobbery can be quite strong. But then, to each of their own, right? But if you look past the Kia badge, the Kia Stinger GT is a legitimate premium sports sedan that really aims to compete with the BMW 3 Series, Lexus IS, Audi A4, or even the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. And with the amount of performance it offers, there's really nothing quite like the Kia Stinger GT at its price point.